All right, and then to cap off this section before we get to the extra questions, uh, we have a pretty fun question, so let's just enjoy it. We see that the seawater, uh, or the statement reads, seawater at a frequency of nu equal 4 times 10 to the 8 hertz has a permittivity epsilon equal 81 epsilon naught, permea permeability mu equal mu naught, and resistivity rho equal 0 0.23 ohm per meter, or ohm meter. What is the ratio of the conduction current to displacement current? Hint. Consider a parallel plate capacitor immersed in the seawater and driven by voltage V equal V naught cosine 2 pi omega 2 pi uh, nu T. All right, so again, we'll write down what we know about parallel plate capacitors. Uh, here, sigma is the surface charge, and I need to state that explicitly because the qu equations below is not, but we know that that's equal to Q over epsilon A, uh, and if we take the line integral of E, uh, we can find that that actually gives us the voltage v so e dot d or yeah v is equal to e dot d um and so we just divided it over to f solve this as a function of voltage which is what we need since that's what was given anyways so the material equations i.e the field in a material is equal to d equal epsilon times e we saw that before in chapter four i think yeah three or four i don't remember no it had to be four uh, but anyways, uh, and then we also have conductivity and slash resistivity, or at least how they're related. Here, sigma is conductivity and rho is resistivity. Again, we're running out of letters here, so bear with it. And then we see that the conduction and displacement current densities are JC equals sigma uh, E, and JD is equal to uh, the partial of D with respect to time. All right, fair enough. Uh, here, again, sigma was the uh, conductivity, by the way. So the solution here is pretty quick. We know that the line integral of the electric field gives us the potential voltage, which I spoke on earlier. So we can relate the given voltage to the field and find a ratio. So the conduction current, JC, is equal to the conductivity, which we know is one over rho, times the electric field, which we found with respect to voltage, is V over D. So if we plug in the voltage, then we get this. Simplifies down to the right-hand side. And then similarly, uh, JD is equal to the time derivative of this electric field with epsilon. So we take epsilon and pull outside. And then um, pushing it through, um, you see if we take the time derivative, we get a negative sign 2 pi nu t. And then chain rule gives us an extra factor of 2 pi nu. So when we take the ratio of their amplitudes, i.e. neglecting the sine and cosine since they undulate between negative 1 and 1, we cancel out their initial voltage and the distance between them, um, uh, between the plates from the electric field. And uh, you see we cancel, so we just get this 1 over 2 pi nu epsilon rho. Uh, again, be careful because you have to multiply uh, mu naught or epsilon naught by 81. Uh, but regardless, you see that you get 2 pi, or excuse me, you get a ratio of 2.41. So pretty fun problem, pretty fun problem, more to come.